Yeah, you kind of gotta give it to him. When he says he's making a family movie, technically it is a family movie. My name is Adarius and welcome to the review of Deadpool 2. So Deadpool 2 follows Deadpool and his girlfriend Vanessa after the former movie wrapped up. And I don't know how much time has passed since the first one, but it is some decent time. Because now Deadpool has gone worldwide. I mean, he's gone a world tour, kicking ass and killing people left and right. He then gets back to America and there he meets this kid called Russell and Cable, who is from the future, is coming to kill Russell. So now, for some reason, Deadpool needs to save this kid because, as we know, he is a hero or an anti-hero or bad guy. What is Deadpool in this movie? I'm getting ahead of myself, but basically this movie resolves around Deadpool trying to save this kid from Cable. So what do I like about this movie? Well, I like the humor. The humor is pretty much the same category as the former movie. It is sturdy, it is in your face, it is fourth wall breaking, and it's just the most lowly meta humor you can think of. So a lot of what we're used to at this point. I also like the action sequences. They have clearly gotten a bigger budget for this movie because they have upped the ante on some of the action set pieces. I know in the former movie we have the whole helicarrier thing that tipped over, but here you have a car chase with some trucks and people fighting in and on them and just things going crazy. You can just see that they now have the budget to make more CGI set pieces because they are pretty much CGI. Most of them. And you can tell that they are CGI but I'm gonna get back to that. But the action sequence is fun to look at, they are entertaining and they do utilize Deadpool's cables and this domino chick's powers quite well in some way that I didn't think of they would do. Another thing I liked about this movie is the supporting cast, namely Cable and Domino. Those two are some of the most awesome aspects of this movie. Cable is just a badass. He's serious and he works wonders opposite of Deadpool. Deadpool is just a merc with a mouse. He cannot shut up, he throws jokes all the time, whereas Cable, he is dead serious. He doesn't give a fuck, he doesn't laugh, he does nothing. He has one mission, and one mission only, to kill Russell, and he will get there. He will find that little piece of shit, he will mow him down, he will beat his ass, and then he will kill him. If Deadpool wasn't there, of course. But some of the most hilarious scene in this movie is between Deadpool and Cable. And then there's Domino. Domino is... A special character because her superpower is luck and then you go how can luck be a superpower but then you see her luck quirk in action and then her name makes sense because shit happens around her it creates a domino effect and then at the end of that lady luck is on her side and gives her the advantages in either a battle a driving sequence or just helping a brother out and just all the charisma the domino has is awesome she lightens up every scene she almost steals every scene that she has even though she's often the opposite of deadpool she almost steals the scenes from him and she has a lot of humor she knows how to bounce off of him and i just like the addition of this confident woman who knows exactly what she's doing and is confident enough in her own ability to just keep going forward and not looking back. And then of course there are the more somber moment. We had them also in the former movie where this movie just strips down and become completely naked. Well, not naked, but more like skin infected, cancers, healing ability naked. The movie tries to stop telling jokes and tries to hit a somber point. And it almost pulls it off 
but there are two issues with those scenes. Firstly, they cannot resist of making jokes. It is a Deadpool movie, it is expected, but I just kind of got the feeling in the former movie that we didn't have that many scenes, but when Deadpool was fighting Ajax in that facility center where he got his power, they didn't tell jokes when he fought him because he was pissed, he was angry, he wanted him dead. It was pure hate and i wanted some kind of that in this movie when we get down to business this scene needs either some heartfelt things or some head or just some pure emotion without the jokes because this movie needs to take a breather from the jokes it doesn't need to take a break from the action that we usually need a movie to do here it needs to take a break from the jokes i like laughing at movies i like comedies but this movie is going for some heartfelt moments so therefore it needs to pull down on the jokes and unfortunately it just doesn't do it second of all these heartfelt moments are just kind of misplaced it doesn't fit in with the movie's tone narrative or pacing and by that i mean it tries too hard to be an emotional piece because Kinda is the spoof of Logan, where Logan was this epic R-rated outing for the Wolverine character. This is the epic, still R-rated, same thingy outing for this Um, Maybe it's not a parody of the Logan movie. But it does want to step everything up a notch. Which means the heartfelt scenes need to be more drawn out. There needs to be more of them. We need to humanize Deadpool. Even though Deadpool is defined by that he is a crazy fourth wall breaking maniac. Who likes and loves to torture and murder people. However it's complex enough that you know deep down below all those crazy shit. Their beats a loving heart he has some values to him but it's very deep down i mean way up in the mainstream okay i'm getting sidetracked here so long story short these heartfelt moments most of the time didn't work there is one scene at the end that kind of worked if it was the ending but it wouldn't fit with the movie it wouldn't fit with the tone and again it is just kind of misplaced and then there is the cgi the cgi is for the most part well done however there are some characters there are some scenes there are some cgi implants where they can't make the actor or the stuntman doing those crazy shit that just seems too cgi and fake and it takes you out of the movie especially when you think about the former movie we managed to pull off some extremely ambitious cgi scenes given its budget i just thought there was a bigger budget that were implement the former experience into this movie however they just reach too far they want too much with this cgi and the budget cannot back it up now bad cgi doesn't make a movie bad as long as the movie itself has something to present and entertain you with and the movie does it just has some quirky characters it does has some extremely funny meta jokes but the movie just tries to get away with it by acknowledging it that this is some bad cgi or this is a cgi fight and even though that it kind of works it is a cheap get free out of j card so it's a double-edged sword so what you end up with is a usual case of secret lighters it is a movie that tries to do what the first one did right and just up the ante, make it bigger, made it not necessarily better, but prettier. And for that reason, this movie just doesn't live up to the hype. It doesn't reach the first one. It is worse than the first one. It is still good though. It is funny, but in the transition from the first one to this one, something important got lost. And here's my two cents on that. Deadpool in the comics, in the cartoons, is not just a character who breaks the fourth wall. He annihilates it. He rapes it. He beats it down and put it down and just keep beating it and stomping on it. He hates the fourth wall, he loves the fourth wall. I want a Deadpool character who does just take the camera, but also when he's in a fight, grabs the boomstick outside of the camera's range and just beat a bad guy to pulp with it. And then he thinks something and then the thought bubble is something he can pick up and throw at people. I want him to be that guy. I want him to use his healing factor to do some interesting jokes and to do some absolutely insane stunts and outrageous pranks but we just don't get it here. He is not as provocative as before. He doesn't talk to the camera as much or narrate as much as before. He doesn't really utilize his heal factor as much as before. He does use it at some point in some interesting way, but I wanted more. We are talking about a guy who when is blown up, usually put himself back together. And now his hands are his legs and his legs are his hands. His stick is his, okay, you get the point. I want that Deadpool. We got a glimpse of him in the former movie, but 
now he's completely gone. He's just a shadow of his former self. And since this movie lives solely on our love for Deadpool, we expect to see the complete package of Deadpool, but we don't get that. We get too many serious scenes. You don't use too many serious scenes with Deadpool. You use them sparsely. So when you use them, they hit hard. Now it might seem like I hate this movie because they didn't quite bring Deadpool here, but I don't. I enjoyed this movie. You will be entertained watching this movie. You will laugh out loud watching this movie, but you won't be grabbed by the balls and dragged around in the arena by this movie as you did with the former one. This movie is unfortunately just the usual second movie. It exists because the first one made a lot of money. There's still some passion in this movie, but there's too much. The first one did great, so we need to make a second one to earn more money. That's not the real passion behind this one as it was for the former one, because the former one was a passion project by Ryan Reynolds. Well, this one is still, of course, a passion project, but not as much since you know it's gonna do good. So to sum all my irrational thoughts up in one sentence, Deadpool 2 is a fine movie, but it doesn't have the heart with it like the former one did. So I will say that Deadpool 2 is worth watching in cinema, entertainment guaranteed. So yeah, it's kind of a bummer that this movie is not as good or better than the former movie, but it is what we usually see in these cases. So. Deadpool 2, have you seen? What did you think about it? Which movie did you like most? The first or the second one? And why? Whatever you think, comment below and read your thoughts. And as always, until I see you in the next video, remember to stay awesome. Bye! Am I a Deadpool character? I mean, I always break the fourth wall. I look directly in the camera. Is that how it works?